Okay, so we've got a 2,000 by 2,000. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is drag the, uh, the guide all the way down, okay, until you see the number. Okay, you notice there's a number there. I'll try to make it bigger. You notice the number there is at 127 here, so go all the way down to about 1,000, okay? Okay, so 1,000, okay? So there you have it, so about 1,000. There we go. Ruler. Okay. Okay, now let me introduce you to the uh, let me introduce you to the brush tool, which is this guy right here. Okay, this is the brush tool. All righty, and if you move the cursor into the white area, the canvas, you'll see the size of the brush. Okay, based on this size. Now, here's here's the actual size right here. Okay, so if you want it bigger, you click on the drop down menu and you make it bigger. I'm going to go up to 60. Okay, you want to make sure the hardness that is at 100 and that you select this icon or hard round. So in other words, you should see these um, you should see these folders here. Click and then click on hard round, okay? Once again, I have it at 60. You can have it anything you want. You can make it at 6, okay? As long you as long as you're good with it. All right? Okay, now what I'd like you to do is create a pattern. So use any color you like, okay, down below. So click here and choose any color you want. Okay, whatever you want, press okay. And then just go ahead and create a pattern, okay, of whatever it is that you want, okay. So right here and right here. You can use different colors if you like. So go back here and then, that looks kind of ugly. And then you can also uh, dot dot on it, okay. So you can click on a blue, and then I'm just going to put dots over here. Okay, it is now 11, uh, 10 uh, 59. I'll give you to 1107 to come up with a nice pattern. Okay, eventually, if you uh, make sure it's in one layer, okay, one layer. All right, so try something really cool and nice. Eleven oh seven. Okay, so once again, what you normally do is you can choose the magnetic tool, okay, and then go around the person's body. Okay, as you can see what I'm doing right here, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I'm going around. Whoops, messed up there. But that's okay. And then at the end, I'm going to right click, fill, if I can't, oh, that's right, so hold on a second. I'm going to create a new layer, and then I'm going to edit fill, and then choose pattern. I press OK, and there you have it. You may want to lower the opacity, okay, and then turn this in. All right, that's it. That's the class, y'all.